Hi, everyone. It's about 545, and this is your closing commentary. It's video number uh, 365. And uh, please remember, if you like the work, to hit the subscribe button. Okay, so we had plenty of news today, economic news. First thing in the morning, uh, we had the ADP payroll number, uh, which was a major disappointment. Uh, the expectation was an addition of roughly a million jobs, and in point of fact, we came in at up only 167,000. Um, a little while later, uh, the ISM numbers came out, and they were positive. Uh, the July number for ISM came in at 58.1 versus expectations of 55.2 and also better than the 57.1 that we had in June. We had a lot of earnings over the last 24 hours, but the one that is most outstanding, of course, was Disney. Uh, after the numbers came yesterday, the stock actually traded down from 117 to 130. 13 and change and then reversed back up and today it continued on that rally and finished the day at 127.61 and that was up ten dollars and 32 cents or 8.8 percent and in fact it had traded up as much as ten and a half percent uh, ctl corp which is one of my favorite stocks for total return uh, did a little bit better than the street was expecting, and this stock, which pays a dollar, which coming into uh, the earnings report was about an 11% return, uh, as I said, did a little better than expected, and the stock is trading right now 1029 up 45 cents or 4.57%. Uh, fastly missed, uh, actually, fastly missed beat, but guidance looked a little soft, and the stock uh, is currently trading 93.20 down 15.80 or 14.5%. Uh, Roku, which beat both top and bottom line, but has been a really strong name uh, over the past several months, pandemic related, uh, had some soft guidance as far as new subscribers going forward, and the stock is currently trading uh, 162.10, and that's down 332, so nothing overwhelming. Uh, Sonos, uh, Sonos is a maker of high quality uh, home uh, component systems for stereo inset speakers, etc. Uh, they had a loss, but revenues beat. Uh, and the stock, which had closed at 17 and a half up 96, immediately traded down to 14 and three quarters and is currently 1540 down to 10. Uh, the stock has been up recently on uh, rumors of someone buying them someone the someone being mentioned of course is apple uh costco beat big time uh the stock had closed 339.97 is currently 345.99 that's up six dollars and change uh western digital uh beat on the uh, top line but missed on revenues and gave somewhat soft guidance and the stock is currently 38.56 and that's down five dollars and 89 cents or 13 and a quarter percent uh square beat uh, that came out last night the stock closed today 146.20 up nine dollars and 37 cents or 6.9 uh, we also had a deal with a stock that uh, started the year about, uh, I want to say, $60 or so, uh, Teladoc, which is a big uh, pandemic play. Uh, it and Lavango Health, symbol LVGO, agreed to do a merger uh, worth about $18.5 billion. Uh, neither of the stocks acted favorably to the news. Um, 
Teladoc closed 202.01, down 47.41, or 19%. And Livongo closed 128.06, down 16.47, or 11.4%. Both of these stocks have had major runs to the upside, um, but nobody likes the deal. Okay, on the commodity side, we have oil uh, with a much bigger drawdown, I think seven and a half million barrels drawdown today, um, managed to get all the way up through the 200 day moving average, but couldn't hold it, traded as high as 43.52, uh, but finished the day at 42.19. Uh, gold was up again. Um, we had a uh, short day trade today. Uh, it was a slight profit after being up over 30% or 40% uh, of a gain. We had a stop underneath it because they were very short-term options. And uh, after selling down to about uh, 2045, the gold turned back up. And uh, we got stopped out around 90, 98 cents. So a little minor profit, but uh, I actually thought we might be uh, dramatically overbought and might come back into the 2020 area, uh, but was not to be. Uh, silver traded as high as 27 and a quarter today and closed uh, 26.89 up 86 cents. And as much as you're probably going to hate to see it again, the U.S. dollar index again failed to rally and came back in and broke back to the downside yet again. Uh, I believe this is the lowest close that we've seen uh, down here at uh, 92.85 after trading as low as uh, 92 53. So uh, it was down 53 cents. Uh, Bitcoin was up again, traded as high as 11,975, and the bonds were slightly lower, but the yield curve did steepen a bit. So uh, just to get back to the securities markets, um, the Dow was up 373 or 1.4%. Uh, NASDAQ, another new closing high, up 57.24 or half a percent. Uh, the S&P was up six tenths of a percent, up 21.26. And the big winner was uh, far and above the Russell up 29.02 or 1.9%. And even the transports managed uh, a one and a quarter percent gain up 128.75. So uh, that's all I have for tonight. And I'll be back first thing in the morning. And I remind you, if you like the work, please just hit the subscribe button. We really appreciate it. Have a good evening.